GPT-40 has much lower latency than standard audio, but how much faster is it really? I'll let you be the judge. In one of my recent videos, Ash493 says, I'd love to see, see the real latency with GPT-40's real-time chat. Thanks for the comment. Let's make that happen. So first off, how do you actually get to real-time chat versus standard chat? I've got GPT open right here. And in the bottom right, you see this little audio icon. You want to tap on that to launch audio chat. And it'll look like this. And you see at the very top, it says advanced. So if you click on advanced, you will then see a dropdown that lets you choose between advanced and standard mode. And GPT is going to respond to me because uh, it's actually listening right now. So let me go ahead and set the phone up so I can do this test for you. It sounds like you're running a test or troubleshooting something. Yeah. Is hey, GPT, I've got your standard voice mode open. I just want to test out how long it takes for you to respond. Sure thing. Just let me know what you'd like to talk about, and we can see how quick the response time is. We can literally talk about anything. What do you want to talk about? How about we chat about your favorite hobbies? Do you have any that you really enjoy? You know, I have lots of hobbies I enjoy. I want to know about the hobbies that you enjoy. If I could have hobbies, I'd probably enjoy learning new things and helping people out okay. with their questions. So let me set up the uh, real-time chat and we can get a quick side-by-side -side of uh, what that sounds like in comparison to the standard. Hey GPT, I've got your real-time chat open. I just want to test how long it takes for you to respond. Oh, sounds good. Uh, let me know how I did, or if you have any other questions I can help with. Sounded pretty similar to standard. Are you supposed to be faster at responding? Generally, I'm pretty quick but response time can vary depending on different factors. How was the timing on my last response? You know, actually, it honestly did feel a little bit faster. There's no click and you just kind of get right to a response. Uh, what's your average response time, do you know? I don't know my exact average response time, but I aim to reply as quickly as possible. It might also vary depending on the complexity of your question or the length of my response. How's my speed been feeling to you so far? Okay, so how about I ask a slightly more complex question right now where I say a little bit more than what I've been saying. And I also, at the end of this uh, uh, statement or question, I ask you to tell me a little story about a fox that's running through a field and chasing a rabbit. Once upon a time, a clever fox spotted a rabbit hopping through a sunny field. Okay, that was pretty quick. Um, so anyways, let me know what you think. I think real-time chat's a bit faster. Uh, there isn't that click that separates, you know, um, the, uh, the receiving of the statement from me and the response from GPT. I think that click sound in the standard audio fills the space a little bit and it helps it feel like it's moving more fluidly. But the real-time chat feature really just I think is more fluid, but you can be the judge in the comments. Cast your votes below. Thanks so much. Catch you later. Peace.